Our next patient is dealing with hypochloremia, H-Y-P-O-C-H-L-O-R-E-M-I-A. And this is when the blood levels of chloride are less than 95 milliequivalents equivalents per liter. So once again, somebody's not feeling any good. But the picture's very different than hyperkalemia. We've got somebody who's got rigid extremities, um, sometimes actually showing tetany, and preceding this they might have slight tremors or twitching, but the concern is that the tetany can even lead to seizure. Their respirations are quite slow, shallow. So we see metabolic alkalosis in these folks. If severe, the hypochloremia can lead to decreased blood pressure and respiratory as well as cardiac problems. So what are the nursing actions in this case? Well, replacing sources of chloride uh, can be done orally through um, sodium-containing food. Sometimes salt tablets are ordered. And if this is the case, monitoring vital signs is very important. Intake and output, very important. And providing safety, especially because these folks need assistance with ambulation due to the tremors and decreased blood pressure when they move from a sitting to standing position.